Good morning, Paula here with our morning devotional. It is titled, Remember, Remember. There is a quote to those who serve in our U.S. Armed Forces, and it reads like this. The task ahead of you is never as great as the power behind you. The task ahead of you is never as great as the power behind you. My father retired from the U.S. Army, and my husband retired from the U.S. Um, Air Force. Two days ago, we celebrated Memorial Day, and to some, it was the kickoff of summer, but to some of us who have uh, served in the U.S. military, it was a day of remembrance, uh, remembering those who have fallen in our nation's wars, remembering their families who served alongside them, remembering their sacrifices. I mean, remembering can stir up a lot of emotions. It can give you a sense of gratitude and appreciation for where you stand today. I remember those numerous deployments my husband was sent on. I mean, they were back to back to back. I remember the long nights. I remember the sleepless nights. I remember those limited phone calls. I mean, back then, he was only given 10 minutes, 10 minutes to talk on the phone. And so even as exhausted as he was, he would stand in line uh, just to call home. I remember uh, when he would go on a dangerous mission and he would call to inform me, um, not of the mission, but just so that I would pray over him. And I remember those conversations. I remember the pull of my heart. I remember that pull of my heart took me on my knees. Those conversations would lead me to God's throne of grace to pray over our soldiers, my soldier. I remember having to hold my tears back while I was in the phone talking to him because he needed me to be a strong tower for him. I remember days and weeks would go by not hearing from him. I remember the panic. I remember the fear. I remember the terror that overwhelmed my spirit and consumed me. Oh, but God, I also remember the many times God brought my soldier home. I remember the reunion. I remember the homecoming. I remember the joy of having my family complete and always celebrating that. I always celebrate when my family is complete. I remember simply resting in his arms with the sigh of relief of just knowing that he was home. I remember the dry land. I remember Jehovah Jireh, my provider. In Psalms 105, if I can just read it to you, it reads, Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. Sing to him. Sing his praises. Tell everyone about his wonderful deeds. Exalt his holy name. Rejoice. Search for the Lord and for his strength. Continually seek him. Remember the wonders he has performed. Remember his miracles. Just simply remember. I love that chapter of Psalm 105, just to remember his wonders. So do you want to know the secret of survival in enemy territory? It's simply to remember. Remember all that God has done. Remember his wonders. Remember, remember. Don't forget a single blessing. Don't forget. When I am faced with a challenge, I take a tour of God's accomplishments, not mine of God's accomplishments. He truly, he is my Jehovah Jireh. So is there anything that you'd like to share? Perhaps that's um, in your heart that would help you overcome and remember all that God has done. Um, even in this season, uh, what comes to mind when you think of all that God has done for you? What trophy has he given you that sits on your shelf? Perhaps you can share it. Always remember how far God has brought you. Remember what he has done. In Jesus' name, God bless you, family.